I want to address what probably a lot of people want to do, and is that is the ability to import a previous course you taught. You taught it in Blackboard, it was copied into Brightspace, and I'm going to bring that copy over into this course so then I can connect all of my pieces. So let me show you how you would do that. I'm going to start in the course I want to copy into, my destination course. Then this is also through Course Admin, so I'm going to go to Course Admin and Import, Export, Copy Component. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and I'm going to use the top tool, which is called copy components from another org unit. Org unit means another course in Brightspace. And I can copy from any other course in Brightspace I'm also an instructor of. So I'm going to click on search for offering. The course copies from Blackboard have STB in the name, so I'm going to search for that. And here is a course that was a copy, so I can see that in the name here. So whenever you see course copy, you're going to see the, the semester it was taught and BB course copy. That means it came over from Blackboard. All right, so I'm going to select that course and click add selected now that I've selected the course I want to copy over. And then I have a couple options here on the bottom. I can copy all the components or I can copy select components. I'm going to go to select components. So now I'm going to see all the things that are available for me to bring over into this course. So depending on how you're going to use your course going forward, you may or may not select everything here. I'm going to select content. And as a note, I can say I want everything or I can select certain things. So if you're looking for a specific thing, you could say select individuals and just bring that over. I'm not going to do external learning tools because those have to be recreated anyway. So my Zoom link, I have to create it again. Echo 360, any maybe publisher tools, those have to be recreated in every new course. So there's no point in me bringing them. Content display settings, I'm going to set them up in the course. So I don't have, I'm not going to do that. I am going to go ahead and bring my files. I'm going to bring my discussions, my assignments. Let, let me go ahead and bring grades. I'm not going to bring the navigation bar. That's the way the top looks. I'm not going to bring over announcements because I would recreate them. I'm going to bring my question library and my quizzes. My course appearance is fine. I'm not going to bring that. I'll bring my surveys uh, and I don't worry. I'm not going to worry about release conditions. So once I've selected what I want in here, I'll click on continue. And then this is the screen where I can choose the things that I want to bring over. So I have whatever content I have in here, I can choose to check everything or specific things. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and select all and continue. And it's giving me a confirmation here. I can change my dates from here. You can also change that later, but I'm going to go ahead and click finish for now. And then I have a message saying that copying is progress. While that's happening, I'm going to go over to content. And before this was empty, but now I can see on the left hand side, all that content from the previous course is starting to come over. And as I scroll through this, I think, and I kind of picked this course as an example, because it has a lot of extra stuff in it. So in my particular case of pulling this course in, I want to remove all of these modules. I'm going to keep all the content in my course, but I'm going to remove these modules and then I'm going to go back to course builder and put in just the pieces I want. So I'll click on table of contents. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all these modules. And in this case, I want to choose the first option because the important thing here is it keeps all the files that you brought in. If you actually just want to delete everything and start over, then you'd pick the second option because then it would delete your files and your modules. Um, but then it didn't make sense bringing them over. So in most cases, when you've copied a course over and you want to clean up this, what's called the table of contents, but choose the first option to get rid of those modules so you can rebuild. All right, so it takes a few moments to go through and delete the modules. And again, this is just deleting my folders, but not my files. And that might be a way to think of it. And once I've done that, I can go back into Course Builder, create my folders. I can clean that up and reconnect everything. So let me show you how I would do that. So I'm going to go back to Course Admin and back to Course Builder. And I'm just going to build out one module, one unit, and show you how I would connect some pieces there, because now I have things in my course. So I'm going to drag a module over, and this is going to be my unit one, and I'm going to create that. And now let's see, I had a discussion, I believe, and I had a quiz, I think, and an assignment. So let me pull those in really quickly. And then I'm going to copy this structure, and I'm going to paste it so I have it. Okay, so now I kind of have a, a template module here and my a second one that I copied. 
So I'm going to change this second module. I'm going to call this unit two, and then let's put some content in it. Okay, so I've imported my course. I've created a structure in Course Builder. Now I want to add content. The funny thing is I don't want to use this add content tool because look what it says over there. Drag or click items to create new content. I don't want to create new content. I just imported all my content. So I don't want to use this tool. I'm going to collapse it. What I want to use is browse tools. Since I just imported my discussions and my quizzes on my assignments, I'll click on discussions. And then I remember it was something about an introduction. My week two or unit two is this introduction definition. So I'm going to click on that discussion form and I'm going to apply. So I'm only viewing that. And then I found this discussion. This is the one I want during that week. So I'm going to click and drag and drop it into that placeholder. Remember placeholders have the dotted line. And now that actual content item is in unit two. I'm going to try assignment or quiz now. So I'm going to go back here to the browse tools. So now I want to go to assignments. I'm going to click on assignments. Now this tool doesn't have a little filter bar. You kind of have to know what you're looking through and go through it alphabetically. I want to point out this tool here. If you want to view your assignments in another window, so you can say, okay, which one am I looking for? Find the name and then find it in this window. This is helpful. So let me show you how that works. When I click on this, it actually opens up a new window and this is all my assignments and I can already see that I have work to do. I have things to clean up because if you see here, I've got two essays with the same name. I have a third essay. So I have a lot of duplicates. So I need to do some cleanup before I actually connect the pieces. Otherwise, I'm going to have possible issues. So while I'm here with all these duplicates, let me show you how I would delete them. So I have three essays. I want to delete two of them. I'm going to I select the things I don't want here, select them, and then under more actions, I'm going to go to delete. So I'll click on delete. And now I just have that one essay. So that's something very important here. And as I go through here, I can look and find the one that I want in here. Let's see homework assignment, personal weekly schedule. So that's the one I wanted. So now I'm going to go back to the tab I have open with Course Builder, and I have to scroll down through this list till I find that. And it's probably on another page. I can make this so I see more things on one page. Scroll down, homework assignment, personal, weekly schedule. Oh, I have two of those too. So I'm definitely going to want to fix that up. So what I need to do is go back to my assignments and I need to get rid of one of my personal. So you can see how when you pull everything over, it's you still have to do work to clean it up and make sure you don't cause duplicates. All right, I deleted one of them. I'm going to refresh my list of assignments here. Alrighty, looks like it refreshed. Scroll down and find that. There we go. Here it is. Good. And I only see one of these now, so that's perfect. I'm going to grab it and drag it over. And I want to show you if I try to take an assignment to a quiz, do you see how when I hold this over the assignment, it turns orange? But when I hold it over a quiz, nothing happens. So you have to take like to like. So only assignments can go to assignment placeholders, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to drop that on there. And now my actual item is in that unit. All right, so I hope that's a little more clear now what I mean by build out the outline from your syllabus. You put all of those pieces where you want them and then you put your pieces in. The other thing I want to show is creating content in the content area. So I'm going to click on content on the top. And before I do that, notice that in my course builder, I have outlined two units, one and two. Unit one only has placeholders. And unit two has two content items and one placeholder. And the reason I'm pointing to point that out is that you won't see placeholders in the content area. So when I go over content, you'll see a slightly different look because the placeholders don't show up. So when I go to content over on the left hand side, you remember before it was so, 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 so much stuff. Now it's just what I have outlined in Course Builder. And when I click on unit one, I don't see anything because I only had placeholders in unit one. If I click on unit two, I will see those two content items that I linked to in Course Builder. I do want to show that from content, you can build and create your structure as well. And again, I clicked on content in my course and I selected one of my existing modules. For that matter, if you notice, there's add a module at the bottom here. I'll click on add a module and I'll make unit three. And now I've added a module here. So once I've selected that module, when I click on upload or create, there's a lot of options here. One of them, I can upload a file. If you create a link, you could link to a website you want people to look at. 
You can also use Create a File to create content directly in Brightspace. There are also a lot of content items you can add under existing activities. Things like third-party publisher tools, Google Drive, OneDrive, VoiceThread, and under external learning tools there are even more options.